Good morning, everyone. Today is Tool Time Tuesday, and we are using punches today. And I am going to be using a piece of Mente's Written Memories, and it's this floral piece here, and on the back it looks like vintage wallpaper. And I'm also going to be using um, a piece of my last piece of Florabella. I just had like um, a little bit of it. It was um, before before I found Mente, I was able to find, <laughs> I found this piece after I found Mente. I'm going to be using some flowers from the Flora Book One and a piece of damask paper from Basic Book Backgrounds Damask. Oh, it's Basic Book Six. So, four different Mente things. And I'm also going to MacGyver <laughs> a tea. And let's see. And I think I'm using two different um, kinds of letters. Let's see what else. Oh, and a Martha Stewart punch. So this is the written memories piece, or no, the Florabella piece I'm going to use. And the other side kind of looks like vintage wallpaper. Okay, so I'm going to start with my Martha Stewart punch. And I went ahead and punched it ahead because you've seen the last two videos I did. I did punches and still messed them up. So it's like, I need all the help I can get. I just got to do it ahead. And so I'm going to run layers of this. Oh, I didn't even show you what I'm going to scrapbook. I'm going to scrapbook a picture of me that they took at the at the dress where my sister got her dress and well and where we got the bridesmaids dress dresses. And um somebody had taken this picture of me from the back and it's like I just have always loved it. I don't even know if I have a I'm sure someplace I have a picture of me in the wedding, but um, I can actually, which I didn't even realize that I can kind of see me in the mirror, but I mean, it's not a really great photo or anything, but um, I just have always liked it. So I thought I'm just going to scrapbook it today and I seen it sitting there on the dresser and I thought, or uh, it's actually on the nightstand <laughs> and now it's not. I thought, I need to get some of that stuff off the nightstand because I have collected so many Chodskis and some of the stuff just needs to go and this was just in a little um, frame because I've always liked it and that's probably the only reason why I still have it today. So, oh and guess what, I just tried to tape that right to my thing here, okay, right to my trim that I'm putting down. Okay, I'm going to put this in layers. And if I took a picture of this, do I know? Huh. I don't know. Okay, I think I know how it goes together. Where's my T-square? Oh, it was, I put it away. <laughs> That'll make you look for it. <laughs> I don't know where it's at. I put it away. Okay, so I'm just lining this up to make sure it's straight and it looks like it is. And I note to self, I need to get that ruler that lays flat because this is always something that bothers me if it's not going the way it's supposed to. So I've cut three layers of this or three strips of it, whatever you want to say. And I'm just going to keep overlapping them. And I actually had like a, a scrap and then I just kept, after I 
punched it, then I would cut it out. And right now I'm just trying to get the holes where they're not showing on the line that's, you know, here. So, and then I'm going to check it and make sure it's straight. It looks like it is. And I'm going to think that it is because it worked the first time. <laughs> and then this piece, it's a little wider and I left it wider because of um, how I'm layering the stuff on top of it. So again, I'm just going to make sure the holes are not where I'm seeing that that edge in the little floral and leaves that's above there and where is it okay there it is so if I get it above there it should be even okay so that should be good there and then I have the house from Florabella and I thought this kind of looks like a southern mansion and um, my sister said she picked these dresses because she knew I love Flora the um, southern bell gowns it's like oh she's so sweet because I do love southern bell gowns and I think that's how I saved it so even though you're only seeing the back of me I love this Okay, and now I'm thinking I would like to kind of cover up a little bit of this bottom. I thought about using doilies, but I'm thinking maybe I'll just do this. Because I think I might like this better. So, as Ginger would say, trial and error. <laughs> so I'm going to look at this and see if that's how I like it. And I plan on just putting this here. I mean, I'm just thinking about Scarlet standing in front of Tara saying she will never be hungry again. <laughs> so I'm thinking that. Now it kind of leaves me this raw edge, which I did have covered up with the doily. But maybe my flower cover it up so I think that might would work do I want to see that there or the doilies okay I'm gonna look at it a second and then try the doilies and I wish I could hear ya <laughs> yay hey because I have my punches now it's like the rest is you know, do I want die cuts or do I want doilies? Because I was thinking the dress kind of swags like this. Now this was back in what, like the 80s. So I was thinking, you know, put these here and then one here. and one here so they could come down to where they almost run into the the little leaves on that punch so this is kind of what I had been thinking but then I thought I'll bring those out and see Usually I have the plan ahead. I think I still like that. I mean, it's not as much, but I still like that. And then if I have this here, I kept thinking, you know, I just had this piece of paper left from that uh, Florabella. I thought I would just love to use that house, but I didn't know how I was going to use it. But see, I can just for this. Now I'm kind of adjusting this but it doesn't matter because you can't see it anyway. I think I still like that better. 
So I'm going to do that. The other just seemed like it was too much. Okay. So I'm going to glue these down. I mean tape them. And I'm just going to kind of um, shoot for the center of that pattern. And, you know, this probably isn't centered correctly, but it doesn't matter because of the things that are going to overlap it anyway. Okay, so I got that in there, and I'm going to put this one in here. And this one can actually come down further because of the way the pattern is. But that's okay, I like that. Still got them pointy or the center. So I'm just checking to see if they're similar. Okay, and then I'm going to put some tape on here. And a little bit of glue on these leaves, especially these ones here. But I will hit this one here too. So I'm glad I got to use the house because I kept thinking someday am I going to pull that out and not use the house because I thought the house is pretty neat. And it probably doesn't look anything like Tara. I'm sure it doesn't because um, it looks like a French mansard roof. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that down here. I'm going to have it almost to the edge, but not quite. And I'm just kind of, kind of figure it's lined up if it's kind of straight here. Okay. And um, this straight edge was the reason why I was thinking about using, you know, something like this here. Let's see, I do have one that's smaller. Do I have another one that's smaller than this? This one's tiny. I don't know if I'd want to run that there too. Nah. Nope, it's just not it. Okay, and then I'm just going to put this here someplace so I look like I'm looking at the, the house, even though I'm inside. <laughs> I just thought I've got on this southern bell gown. I'm just going to go for it because it's like it's not the wedding. And um, so it doesn't matter. You know, it's just the, you know, I, I think it might have been one of the ladies at the shop just took a picture. Because that's all I can remember being there is me and my sister and, and the lady at the shop. So I'm thinking that's it. Okay, and I'm trying to use these chipboard pieces for dimensionals. So I'm going to get those out. Okay. So I'm going to put this up on something. There should do it because I'm just about out of dimensional so anything bigger I'm just using this stuff and let's see can I still get that there I should put the big piece down first a bigger piece I think that'll work. Oh, 
Okay. Now, which way do I think is up? I think this way. So I'm just going to overlap the picture a little bit. And then I'm going to, hopefully that sticks well, because one part's kind of shiny, but I think I used them the other day. Okay, and then I'm going to put this up to, let's see if I got something that looks like a fit better. Oh, I forgot this is actually sticky. So I can actually pull this off, maybe. Oh, too big. Okay, how about that? And a piece up here. Still too big. It doesn't, it looks like it's, <laughs> it looks like the heart's bigger, but it's not, I guess. Okay, and then I'm just going to, now this is from the Florabella also, so I thought, well, I've got the, using the house, so I'm going to use this, because then we're, we just have that scrap left, I don't be the, I don't know if I've finished off a actual full collection or not. Now this looks like I had it glued on something else at one time. But we're going to try this and if this doesn't work I will put E6000 on it later. And I'm just going to overlap the heart lock with it. Okay. And then I have this cowboy hat, which I don't want a cowboy hat in my scene. So I'm going to put this invitation there. To overlap that hat. And then I'm going to put this flower to overlap the hat. Again, I got to find my direction. And this time, I'm going to pull it down and let it kind of overlap the bottom so it's not everything is straight there. And then I have this little rose, and I'm going to put that down here in amongst the scallops of lace. This is one of my favorite punches because I, I love lace. Well, you know, if I love this dress, I love lace. Okay, let's see. Where do I want it? Maybe here. Okay. So I'm putting that there and then I'm going to call it a stitch in time. So I'm going to pause and put that on there and then we'll do the finishing touches. Okay, I've got the title here. Now I realize it's very subtle, but that's what I was going for because I wanted a title, but I didn't want to see it too much. Did I just get glue on here? Like how? <laughs> oh, it's my key had shifted. Well, that explains it all. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my fingers off here. Okay, so I made a little tiny bow with some just plain white ribbon, and I'm just gonna glue it right here on this heart locket or heart lock, I guess it looks like. And 
And again, if it doesn't glue, I'll use these 6,000, but I'm sure this will. Fabric usually works, but the key might not. Okay, and it's it has moved from where I had it. Okay, but I won't pick it up again. Okay. And then I have Gina Marie enamel dots, and I'm going to use these ones that look like um, almost like a green water dot, which I thought would be perfect. So it kind of looks like maybe a raindrop. And do I want to kind of, I think I'm going to tuck one of these bigger ones just kind of under the edge, kind of lift it up a little. And maybe I'll kind of do that in this area. Cause I'm trying to draw attention to the the little lace there. And let's see, maybe I think I'm just gonna put this one here. I feel like I kind of want them like where it's kind of under the flower. Okay, and then of course, I'm going to put some over here and maybe I'll kind of tuck that in again too. Kind of put them around here and there. And I just tilted my key again. and then over in this other little cluster maybe again I'll kind of tuck it underneath this lace and over here next to the flower And lots of times I do like little groupings in a triangle. Well, it still is actually in a triangle, but I'm kind of spreading them out around each side of the flower. So for this one, I'm just gonna wear it. <laughs> I didn't want it up on that dark, that little piece of dark pink there. Okay, and I don't, um, here, down below, tell me if you can decide which one is MacGyvered, which T is MacGyvered, because one of them is definitely MacGyvered. Okay, and I think that's it. I mean, it's very subtle, and I just used the single punch, but I made layers of it. So, um, everybody else's plan will be in the drop down menu below. And so go see what they punched out today. And actually, Tool Time Tuesday, I think we spread it out through the month. So there's um, me and two other people I think are doing it this week. Um, Jeannie Linguini did it last week. And then there will be more people as the month goes on. So... But everybody's listening down below, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Bye.